Hey, so it's been a little while, um, and mainly because I've been busy with my day job and haven't had a lot to talk about other than uh, the day job, which uh, I'm not going to do on here. So um, I did one cool thing, and you'll see pictures of it as I speak of it now, is I went and shot Neowise, uh, the comet that is only here and won't be back for 9,000 years. And it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. We just hopped in the car like an hour before sunset. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to be able to see the northwest uh, skyline really clear. So we drove all the way out to the middle of nowhere in Alabama. And there wasn't really a good place to get the trees. And I was freaking out because I didn't know how high in the sky was. Turns out it was super high in the sky. And I could have done it in my neighborhood at the right spot. But anyways, we ended up at a... Uh, former Lowe's location that was an abandoned parking lot which you will see here and uh, I'm not going to say the pictures were the best I've never shot a comet before um, really happy with the um, the one where it's coming out of the clouds I thought that was cool uh, but uh, you know I used the lens I'm talking to you on right now the uh, 28 to 75 Tamron 2.8 and I wasn't really happy. The wide shot um, was with the Tamron. The other shots were actually with... Uh, so when I got this camera, I got a Canon adapter. And then I went on eBay and I'm like, I just want like a ridiculous uh, zoom lens because I'm not going to pay $2,000 for the Sony one. Um, but I want a zoom lens just to take pictures of birds and stuff. So I bought a $40 lens. Um, Oh, it's upstairs. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll probably talk about it in depth more because it's kind of great. It's like a 100 to 300 Canon, super old, like probably 90s or early 2000s. Probably very cheap when it came out, um, but it shot a good picture of the comet. So, okay, I'll take it. Uh, okay, so I do want to briefly touch on the news of the camera world um, because I know that's what you care. That's why you come here. Not really, but um, I like talking about camera news. I like reading about it. Um, I used to read about video game news obsessively, but now it's camera stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, so, so Sony has announced the A7S Mark III, which is... Um, so Sony, um, for those who don't know, has kind of three lines of their full-frame cameras. They have the camera I'm speaking to you on, which is just the A7 line. This is the A7 Mark III. came out two years ago. Great camera. Love it. Um, the A7R line, uh, R stands for uh, resolution. And those have uh, insanely, uh, an insane amount of megapixels. The latest one has 60. The previous one, which I almost bought instead of this camera, has 40. Uh, and I'm still kind of jealous of because the one thing I like to do is crop and uh, having double the megapixels of what this camera has means I could crop more and that would be cool. Um, and the A7S line, which, um, uh, God, what does S stand for? Um, this is a professional uh, YouTube channel. Um, so you'll see it pop up over my face right now, whatever S stands for. Anyways, um, they just released the third version of that. So the A7R line is already on four. Uh, you're on the A7 III, and then the A7S III is coming out, uh, I believe, in August. And uh, it's an incremental update, um, and it, it's not very exciting. Like, if I was, if that's what I wanted, so it's mainly focused for video. It only has 12 megapixels, but they're big pixels. I don't know what that means. Um, well, I do know what it means. It allows in more lo low light. You know, I read today um, 4K video is only 8 megapixels when it's all said and done. I, I never really think about that. but um, So a 12 megapixel camera can handle 4K great. It can do 4K at like 120 frames a second, which means you can do super slow motion. It can do 1080 at like 240 a second, which is nuts. I mean, I have a, um, a Sony camera that will do that for about 10 seconds, and it's really neat. And I actually used it um, in a work application where I, had, I was following these dudes and I got like this slow mo, super slow mo walk. Like, it was it was pretty cool. So that's kind of neat. I don't really care. It's thirty five hundred bucks. 
Don't care. I mean, I am the only thing I hate about my camera that I'm talking to you on right now is it doesn't have a flippy out screen. Now the new A7S3 does. So that means I could flip it out, I could see myself talking and frame myself properly. Um, this camera just, the screen comes out and it'll tilt up and down um, so you could look up to it, but it, it's, it's almost not made for doing what I'm doing, but it's the only camera I have. Um, I actually sold a little Canon that had a flippy up screen. I wish I kept it now, to be honest, because I didn't know I was going to do this, so here we are. Anyways, um, the other news, so this is the competitor to the um, Canon R5 and R6 really the R5. The R5's big thing is like we can shoot 8K video uh, but what it turns out, what the internet has completely flipped out over and I get it, is that it will shoot for I think it's 20 minutes, maybe 30 let's, go, let's say 20 I think it's 20. It will shut down because it overheats because it's shooting 8K's of video 8K's are too many K's, I've already told you this if you if you watched all my videos it will shut down for 10 minutes and then you can shoot for three more minutes and then it'll shut down again if you shoot I think it's 20 minutes of 8k video and you want to shoot oh I don't know another 20 minutes of 8k video you have to wait an hour while your camera cools down that's not that's just not usable if you're doing it anything commercially or anything semi commercial if you're trying to shoot a short if you're trying to do got it you can't even do a timeline well you could do a timeline of stills but the point is like the AK thing was just it was just a gimmick it got your attention it got everyone's attention it got headlines in non-photography world They're like oh this camera shoots 8k what what's the world coming to um but I mean people who want to really shoot 8k are going to go spend 10 grand and get a camera that really shoots 8k not what is kind of a gimmick but that said, the R5 is a wonderful stills camera. Uh, I've used the EOS R, the super cheap full frame. I think it's wonderful. I almost bought it instead of the camera I'm talking to you right now. The only reason I got the Sony is because it's better in low light than the EOS R, and it's better, um, better dynamic range. Just a lot of, and it's faster. It shoots like a, I think eight to ten frames a second, which I really like because I like capturing things like birds and flight. I like capturing my daughter running because she's five and really fast. So that was like the motivator. Even if this had been out, there's no way I could have. Oh, it's the R5 is like $3,500. The R6, which is the lesser, doesn't shoot 8K. Um, the R6, I think is 2,500, which would still be out of my range. Um, there's a, also Two years ago, in addition to the R, they introduced the RP. No, wait, I have the RP. I don't have the RP. I played with an RP. The R is their first um, mirrorless. I'm, just, I'm terrible at this. Um, but the R was in my price range. But the R compared to the A7 III, to me, there was no comparison. Um, and apparently the Nikon cameras are good. Uh, I work with people who do photography, and I know... Do I know? I don't think I know a Nikon SLR person anymore. I only know like four or five, but they're all on the Zs. You know, they got Z6s, which is like their lower full frame. Um, and I think one person I know has a Z7, which is their higher end one. Um, so the Nikon people have already made the change. Um, I think it's because like the their best body is kind of aged out and they haven't really uh, introduced one. So. So, um, that's the kind of the news. There, there's the the world has added some cameras. I think Canon now can make a case that they have, you know, a premier good R system body. You know, they have the lenses. They've been cranking out the lenses. They have some really interesting lenses, like lenses I'd be very jealous of, like a 15 to 35 2.8. That sounds awesome. They uh, announced those weird. Um, fixed aperture zoom lenses. I think I talked about those. And they're like F11, you can't change the aperture, which is weird. And uh, they apparently work pretty good. Like I saw uh, Jared Polin uh, went to the zoo and shot a bunch of pictures with it. And I was kind of amazed by it. Of course, he was shooting on an awesome camera body. Um, I think the R5 or R6, I don't know. Um, but uh, 
kind of impressive. I, I, I almost wish I could like rent one to play with it, but uh, I don't think I even could even get it to this camera. Um, but um, so the, the you know that it really hasn't changed. Like I like to think about like what would I do? You know, if it was two and a half, three months ago when I was shopping and the calculus has not changed because I, I just don't really believe in Nikon. Um, Sony has a good ecosystem. They have a good third party ecosystem kind of coming up. This Tamron lens I'm talking to you on is a good example of that. Um, and uh, like, I'll keep this thing forever. Like I'm not ever getting rid of this lens. It's perfect. Um, and, uh, but Canon is, um, Canon's going to figure it out and Canon's going to, put out a good lens system they, they have one I bought the adapter when I bought this camera that tells you all you need to know like I did not buy a Sony camera of only Sony lenses I made sure that I could buy uh, used EF lenses um, you know um, it's just easy I know a lot of people who are Canon shooters I can hey let me see that and I throw it on this camera and take pictures with it and like um, I am positive it sounds like Canon's really can't it says they're not gonna make another 5d which is crazy because like that's the camera, you know. Um, they're they're just going all in on the R, and I, I don't blame them. I mean, it's what Sony did, and it's working for them. So uh, it's interesting times to be. Uh, probably why I started this is like it's like guide interesting to me. You know, I've been kind of looking into it, but once I kind of got you know skin in the game that I'm talking to you on, it made me want to uh, to learn more about it. But uh, I don't know when the next video is going to be. Uh, I got um, kind of crushed at work right now and just not really uh, getting out and shooting like I wish I could be. But uh, I'm sure it'll come soon. I'm sure it'll be great because they're all great. They're all my wonderful, wonderful babies. That sounded weird. Here's a comment again. 